Hey Phoenixes, former Daily Boppers, what's up? It's Rhiannon Raven Rose, that YouTuber formerly known as Delia Melody, and I wanted to have a conversation with y'all today regarding what is and is not appropriate to post in public spaces like uh, Facebook, where I have to see this shit in my uh, in my like Facebook feed. And I find it odd that we even have to have this conversation when I feel like we all know what receiving unsolicited sexual content is like. And I feel as though a lot of this conversation is mainly addressed at like accounts of people who identify as like sissy and crossdresser as, as opposed to like a lot of women, however, some women too. Um, and I want to say that there is a line between being sexy and artsy and, and like, what is not acceptable and just outright violates people's lack of consent in certain spaces that are, like, not designated for this kind of content. Um, basically, like, posting, posting nudes, hardcore lewds, um, king content, and basically, like, softcore porn in spaces which aren't designated for it. And this is not to slut-shame anyone. Um, consent is really the name of this conversation, um, because consent rules everything in the sexual domain. And when I signed up for Facebook, I didn't consent to seeing a bunch of people's amateur porn um, on my feed or being subjected to other people's kinks. Um, for a lot of women, our sexuality and exploring that, wanting to be sexy and share our sexiness can be um, a really great, natural, normal part of our experience of femininity. And I do and have done um, cam work online and in-person full-service sex work. And there's, there's like no slut shame for that kind of thing. Like I've posted tasteful and artsy lingerie shoots. I've had like artsy topless photos. Uh, taken down, which I believe is bullshit because we don't um, unnecessarily automatically like sexualize and stigmatize the male nipples, so why do we do it to women's nipples? Um, however, like there's a line between being sexy and artsy and posting amateur porn. It's like, it's basically like sending a dick pic or a badge pic to like everyone on your profile at once, especially like when I can literally see your genitals hanging out your panties. Um, and kink, again, requires enthusiastic consent, and some people have gotten really angry at me and started pre-shaming me over this attitude that, like, look, if I see you posting shit which violates what this space is and isn't designated for, I'm going to take you off my friends list. Um, I never saw pre-shame on me coming <laughs> for this. Um, However, really, this this isn't about slut-shaming, this is about consent. Um, and it's, it's like, it's the number one rule of everything. It really shouldn't be at all that hard to understand this. And, like, you know, it's, it's a problem, including people who are posting, like, quote-unquote, sissification content. Like, okay, if that's your kink... Um, I'm, I'm not gonna say that, that it doesn't make me upset on the aspect that, like, you know, I think of people being transphobic towards us on the basis of, of this, like, whole cross-dress and sissification kink existing to some people who are not IMO necessarily trans, however, have, like, a, a kink with cross-dressing and forced cross-dressing and things like that, and... I get angry. I, I get really angry because my mother, like, looks at my identity as a kink instead of identity because of shit like that and people taking their kink out of designated spaces where that's okay and where everyone can, like, enthusiastically consent to it out in the public spaces where that consent doesn't exist. Like, you know, I don't know how else to put it. When I see all this kink shit and and basically amateur porn showing up in my Facebook feed. I didn't ask for that. I didn't consent to it. And, and it really is to me like you're just sending an unsolicited dick or badge pic to your entire profile list of friends at once. So don't do it. I'm not slut-shaming you, so don't prude-shame me for, for taking a stance in favor of respecting the rules of consent. And this shouldn't be that, that hard for any of us. Like, let's all just start following that. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
Until next time, be yourself unapologetically always. You'll be being yourself, loving yourself, and being your most beautiful you. See ya.